Hello, this is Art from the DEG, and I want to do a video on clear coding inner panels in CCC1. This is not an automated function uh, like it is with outer panels. With inner panels, for example, um, a radiator support or an apron, those panels, it's not automated to add clear coat to them. It's a manual operation. And I'm going to go through a couple of scenarios uh, of how to add clear coat to those panels. So the first one we have is a 2010 Ford Escape. I'm just going to go in and select course radiator support and upper tie bar. And if I double click upper tie bar, it asks, uh, has some add for labors. I just say OK for now. And the upper tie bar is added to the estimate with 1.2 hours of paint. But there's not a clear coat. What we have to do is right click on the upper tie bar. And then we can go down here and add for clear coat. And that'll allow us the 0.2 for the, for the panel. Now there's another scenario that sometimes when you select, say, an upper tie bar or a course radar support, it'll actually uh, uh, convert to components, refinish components. And I'll show, uh, I'll show you what we need to do there. For this, we're going to do a 2010 Honda... CRV and I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to go down to uh, radiator support. Radiator support. I'm going to double click it. The add for labors comes up. So with this one, you see it added a line for refinished components at 1.4. Now on this one, if I right click radiator support, the add for clear coat is shaded out because there's there's no labor associated with this line. If I go to refinish components, add clear coat again is shaded out. It doesn't allow you to, to select it because it's uh, for the components. So for this scenario, what we have to do is start right from the beginning. And instead of double clicking or selecting replace, you have to actually pull down this drop down box and say replace with changes and then go through the uh, add for labor and select clear coat and now you'll see you have the 1.4 and the 0.3 so that's uh, that's what we have to do for inner panels like I said it's for radiator supports aprons uh, things like that if you have any questions feel free to email us at admin at degweb.org. Thank you.